Okay, do a go behind and a lift, like a body lock lift from the back. Yeah. Trent, you get some. Lift the big man. All right. So those are examples of legit legal takedowns not illegal now what if you guys hit like lateral drops show me some good explosive popping lateral drops right Trent give me one good okay give me arm throw or either arm throw arm spin whatever you like try to make it try to get some elevation Okay, all legit, all legal. We're making legal techniques. Nothing, nothing illegal about this. Okay, good. Now, show me a souple, suplex. Something illegal. Folk style, not legal. If you go straight back, that is illegal. Perfect example. Trent, can you do that to that big boy? Yeah, so that would be an illegal technique folk style. Um, what about, let's pick him up, Ben. Like, like, pick him up with a double leg up on the shoulder like a potato sack. Now, if your feet leave the ground and you try to have some intent to injure, um, be ready, Trent, so you don't totally get hurt, but make it look illegal so we know what illegal looks like. Yeah. See how he jumped and then you try to like spear him with your shoulder in the ribs? Yeah. Do that, Trent. Give that boy a hernia. <laughs> Again, now some of those could be borderline. Again, that's all going to be up to the referee's discretion. Give me something else. What, what else would look at? How about from the back? Sometimes you get pick them, you go rear standing, and then you pick, and you, you don't do a suplex. You just slam them too hard. You know what I mean? And you just kind of like, yeah. Like some of these, you're dropping the guy on his shoulder. You're kind of angling it. That's where, arm? yeah, you get, yeah, exactly. You're trapping the guy right on his shoulder. And, and again, that, that may have not, I know you don't want to hurt yeah. Trent. It's kind of hard to show people what is an illegal slam, but I think they can kind of understand. I, I always talk about feet leaving the floor. Um, that's usually not good. It's not really defined as this, but if your knee touches the mat, go ahead, go out on the floor right here, and you do a little go behind, uh, and you're going to take him down. You know, if your knee's going down to the mat as you lift him, lift him up and then put your knee towards, you know what I'm saying? It kind of shows that you're softening the landing. Pop him. Yeah, like, that's a great way to keep a wet referee from, from calling you for an illegal slam. When he sees your opponent land first with all your body weight on top, again, you see, the knee, coming down to the knees, like, that definitely, that makes a referee feel more comfortable with you. So, there it is. The illegal slam rule. Um, what else can we say about illegal slams, guys? And they're dropping on the head. Yeah, oh yeah, what about if we... You know, what if we pick him up and we invert him upside down? <laughs> Some tombstone stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you lift him up. Oh, my gosh. So, obviously, you cannot plant your opponent head first. You know, even in freestyle Greco, you still, you can powerbomb him, but you have to throw him. You cannot spike him directly head first. You know, again, some of these throws look borderline, but... Uh, and at the highest levels, you'll see some nasty stuff at times. But remember, they, especially uh, lower level, when you go to high school or even like college, and they're, they're going to protect these guys a lot more because they want to keep their, uh, their body parts so for the long term.
So, all right, thanks, boys. Appreciate you. All Teach right. me grappling. We're out. Here we go. Okay, what was that, Ben, you so, were talking about also? Thing. When you have someone up in the air, when you pick them up, you are responsible for their landing. So how's the way you make them land? If you do it correctly, you're fine. If you do it illegally, no bueno. Right. And again, that's up to the referee's discretion. So just to show real quick, just pick them up any which way, double leg, whatever. He's now, what you're trying to say is, you are responsible now. Yeah, I have him now. You're responsible for him. So when you bring him down, you have to make sure that he's brought down safely. And when we say safe, we don't mean like a like a newborn baby. Show me right on his head. <laughs> what it means is if you don't put him right on his head, then you're fine. Yeah. If I was to drop him and just fall back, illegal. But as long as take it, take him out here, take him out here, and, and kind of bring him down, kind of hard. Yeah, like that's fine. That's totally legit. All right, so Trent, you had another couple things we want to talk about. The cradle. We want to talk about the cradle. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, ben, you go down. Let, let, let Trent lock up a cradle. So, well, first of all, we, we talked about locking hands, yeah. and we didn't talk about the cradle. Yeah. Some people might be confused, like, locking hands on a cradle. Can you? You can. You can. Similar to this, how you can lock around one shoulder. Get the cradle. Simple. I lock here. It is perfectly legal. Then I can bring him over to his back. Okay, so now why is this not uh, a, te a violation? Because I'm not locking around his body like this. I'm only got his neck and his leg. Yeah, so you got his head and his leg. So just like a headlock, you have a head and an arm. Yeah. With a cradle, you have a head and a leg. So it is legal. Now, um, go back to that seatbelt position real quick. The, uh, you can just posture up, uh, Ben, just to go behind. I want to actually, something I didn't mention on the locking hands rule for wrestling. Um, this is legal because you're over the shoulder. But you know what? Something I didn't talk about, which I remembered afterward when I was editing, is slide your right elbow down the shoulder. Boom! It's illegal. So you got to make sure if you guys are in this position, that's illegal. But as long as you're over that shoulder, once you cross down that line, um, you're now illegal. So, And remember, it doesn't matter also how you lock. You could be locking with a pawn a palm. You could be locking. Now that's fine. That's kind of like what we do in jujitsu with like a dars. Um, it, let's just go around the waist. Sometimes guys will just grip on the stomach. Two hands on the stomach. Yeah, and then and then uh, posture up, Ben, so we can see. And then cross your arms, Trent. Yeah, like that. Now look, guys. That that's obviously locking hands. But let's say his hands aren't touching. So technically. Right now, he's not locking hands. But remember, you don't want to do this too often because a referee, just bring your pinky down towards the wrist. Yeah, like once they see that, they see them overlap, they're going to hit you for a locking hands violation. You know, again, some referees, they're, they're real strict on it. So, again, on the locking hands call. Um, I think that's it, right, Trent? What, what else? Anything else? I mean, there's... There's other illegal holds that we didn't go over in our series that I'm gonna, that's why we're doing this. Any more illegal holds that- uh, Like when you have chicken wings? Yeah, we did that. We did the chicken wing. We did the chicken wing. Um, you know what? There's, there's other illegal holds. You know what we didn't talk about? Uh, reverse double chicken wing. Go to the front, front headlock position. You cannot lock like this in folk style wrestling. This is an illegal hold right here. Okay, you guys see that? The reverse double chicken wing. Cannot do it. The reverse full Nelson, you know what that is? That's over. Yeah, no, it's the opposite. No, 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 no. So, okay, oh. so yeah, we're gonna, yes! The reverse double Nelson. Can you guys see that? His hands are locked, like a full Nelson, but he's over. That's an illegal hold as well in folk style. And then we have the uh, go, go to the, uh, what I call the double-double, double trouble, a lot of people call it. So if you're here, this, when you're on the side, you're legal. That's a legal position. This is a legal thing right here. What you can't do is straight out in the front. If you come out to the front and your lock's in the middle and you're centered, this is now an illegal hold. When a person's in the standing position, go ahead and stay locked, this can get dangerous. So if you're here... The guy 
in Ben's position, can't really use his arms too much. And imagine if, if Trent, if you wanted to go some pro wrestling right now, you could do a DDT. You know, fall back on his head. Yeah, you he could hurt his neck. Or, okay, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about dropping him right on his face. Okay. <laughs> do you know how to do that? Yes, you know, just let his head come to the side. And then just fall on your fall on his head. <laughs> Boom! Break his neck. So, little neck breaker right there. Can you suplex him like a pro wrestler? Uh, maybe I should have Ben do it to you. Now we're just having fun. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I got one more, a couple more illegal holds. I just thought of. Uh, can't lock your hands around the twister until a guy's in near fall criteria. You know how to hit a twister, Ben? Look at Ben hasn't been in, in uh, our program in a while. Twister? You put the hook in? All right, go ahead. He's been out for a while. Wrestling in college, they don't work on the twister. So here we go. So if he's here, guys, as long as Ben's on his back, he can lock his hands on the twister. Okay, or the guillotine. Guillotine. Um, if Ben, go to your go to your knees again, but let it, let, yeah, just unlock for a second, Trent. Let's say we're here. Trent can't lock right now if Ben's on his base. You see, Ben's not in your fall criteria right now. If Trent uses the lock, lock your hands to pull him. That would be awesome to do, but he's not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to do it until the guy is in near fall criteria. So there's, you know what's funny about this, and then I, I believe I've taught you this, Trent, is this is a legal headlock, even though you only have the head, because it's in the guillotine or the twister. If the leg pops out and he starts to twist, you cannot come on top and stay locked. Stay locked. If you were squeezing on his head now, okay, and just getting him in a raw headlock, the referee's going to want to see you collect an arm. He's going to want to see you collect an arm. Whether you go there or if you were in the reverse half Nelson position you were in a second ago, yeah, they'd want to see, no, no, reverse half, go a couple under his head with your right hand, and then just go under his arm and lock. There you go. Very traditional pin. So... Uh, one more. The over scissor. Oh, dude, there's so many. I, there's the head pry. You can't do so many moves in folk style wrestling, guys, that are illegal. Illegal cross face. You can't lock your hands on it. That would be an illegal cross face. Um, you know what an over scissor is? You put in a leg. Put in a leg ride. This rarely happens, guys. The over scissor. He puts in a leg ride, and then Trent goes belly down, and you triangle your legs, Ben. Tri leg. Triangle, like figure four your legs. And then he's in a, uh, turn your left hip down, Trent. As you come on top, Ben. Yeah, you lock down the leg. Yeah, but this is still legal because the way the bend in the knee. Allow Trent, don't apply the force yet. Allow Trent to rotate his left hip down so his knee, no, no, you stay up. Get up on your left knee. Get up on your left knee, uh, Ben. Uh, pull your left, yes, like this. And now go ahead, apply a lockdown. Go deep with a figure four. And then apply a lockdown on his foot. No. Right here. Stay, 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 stay. Watch this. There. That is an elite. Now, Trent, can you turn your left hip down just a little? Now, do you see why it's illegal? It's a knee lock. You see that? It's a straight up knee lock. So again, if the knee is turned enough, which right now, Trent, you're actually turned... Uh, yeah, like that's definitely illegal right there. That's an over, that is the over scissor right there. That's the over scissor. And then, uh, that's illegal. Rarely ever happens. But again, the head pry, you can't pull on the head with two hands, pulling it up. There's so many moves. You can't do a standing snapback. You can't uh, lock rear standing. There's so many, you can't, you can't yank the guy back anymore. They, in the old days, hey, go double under, double under. We would pop our hips and yank the guy back at the shoulders like a suck back. Yeah. But we would pop our pop his hips way up in the air. This used to be, yeah, do it like pop him way up. Watch. Lift him first. Lift him. Yeah, that is an illegal hold. That is an illegal hold now. You cannot do it. You cannot jump and kick out his legs. Do you know how to like like we do in jujitsu? You know how to jump and like go double reverse butterfly? on his knees 
No, no, yeah. You don't have to lift him. You don't have to lift him. You just kick him out. You do it, Trent. Do it on the big man. Just lock and hang on him. Jump. Yeah. They don't allow us to do that in folk style wrestling. That's an illegal hold. You can't do a uh, kaibasami. You can't do a flying scissor. Trip Ben. You can't do that move. Only way to do it legal. Go, Ben. See, look, at, I, I got all the ideas now. Only way to do it is to reach down. And, yeah, get, use a wizard. There you go. And sit. That's your legal way of doing it. Right there. And then catch a cradle. Boom, boom. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. We, we've been doing this too long. So, guys, there are many illegal holds in wrestling. How many illegal holds have you pulled off in your life? Too many. What about you? Only a few. I'm a rule follower. <laughs> he follows the rules. He pounds dudes in the mat legally, right? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, send them off. Tell them, tell them what's up. What, what do you have to say? Uh, wrestling is the most legit sport out there. Good luck and keep training.